We're exploring Christmas time in New York City. Hi everybody, I'm Diane. And I'm George. Welcome to this episode of Diane and George Explore. The world is yours when Diane and George explore. There are so many awesome things to do in New York City during Christmas time. The always popular ones, like this beautiful tree here at Rockefeller Center, but also some that are off the beaten path. We're going to bring you both in this episode. Be sure to stay with us to the end of this episode. We'll be bringing you some tips and other useful information for exploring Christmas in New York City. And here we are at 5th Avenue and 59th Street, right across from the Plaza Hotel. A great place to start your holiday walk before. Down 5th Avenue. Here, we're walking south on 5th Avenue to see the beautifully decorated store windows, like the upscale Bergdorf Goodman's, right next to the famous Plaza Hotel. And Saks Fifth Avenue between 49th and 50th Streets. This year, Saks teamed up with Disney to decorate six of its windows, featuring scenes from the recently released Frozen 2, brought to life with moving parts and props. Each display features a character from the Disney film, along with a central theme of the sequel. While it's not the best Saks window display we have ever seen, the kids will probably enjoy it. Saks is also featuring a wonderful 10-story theatrical light and music show on the outside of their building. Every 10 minutes until about 11.30 p.m. each day. Directly next to Saks is St. Patrick's Cathedral. We're marveling at the neo-Gothic architecture of this magnificent structure, which opened in 1879. At the end of this episode, we provide details for touring. Right across the street from St. Patrick's is a bronze sculpture of Atlas, a famous figure from Greek mythology who was condemned to carry the world on his shoulders. It's located in front of Rockefeller Center. It might not be Christmassy, but it's cool nonetheless. Here's the corridor leading to the Christmas tree at Rockefeller Center. That's Saks in the background. The wire sculpture angels and snowflakes in the corridor have been permanent fixtures here at Christmas time since the late 1950s. Each angel holds a six foot long brass trumpet angled toward the world famous Christmas tree. And there it is, the majestic 77 foot tall Norway spruce Christmas tree at Rockefeller Center, which comes to New York City this year from Florida. That's the village of Florida in Orange County, New York. A 900 pound Swarovski crystal star atops the tree. To give you perspective, the star measures 9 feet 4 inches in diameter and is crafted from 3 million dazzling Swarovski crystals. The tree is illuminated with more than 50,000 multicolored lights. It's on display until January 14th. Once the holidays have passed, the tree will be donated to Habitat for Humanity, where it is recycled and used as lumber in their building projects. One block west, on 6th Avenue, also known as Avenue of the Americas, is the Radio City Music Hall, which is presenting its annual Christmas Spectacular featuring the Rockettes. To get to 6th Avenue and Radio City, you can stay warm and pass through 30 Rockefeller Center. John D. Rockefeller Jr. conceived of Rockefeller Center over a hundred years ago as a city within a city. It's a massive complex extending from 5th to 6th Avenues and between 48th and 51st Streets. And it houses businesses, television studios, shops, and places to dine, among other things. While on 6th Avenue, you can also head down to Macy's Department Store in 6th Avenue and 34th Street, also known as Harold Square, to check out their window displays. We also came across singer-songwriter Emma Park Hazel singing Christmas songs and some original music in the subway. On that particular day, PBS Digital Studios was filming her for an upcoming show on busking in the subway. A busker is someone who plays music in a public place for voluntary donations. That's Nare Soul of PBS. the world-famous Lincoln Center, and that's the home of the New York City Ballet behind us. If ballet is what you had in mind, the New York City Ballet at Lincoln Center is putting on its annual performance 
of choreographer George Balanchine's The Nutcracker. Just in case you're wondering, it's cold here, so if you're visiting from out of town, bundle up. Absolutely. The Met Metropolitan Museum of Art features a 20-foot blue spruce Christmas tree adorned with 59 angels, 19 cherubs, and an additional 71 figures that evoke 18th century Naples nativity scenes. For Hanukkah, the museum also features one of the largest known silver Hanukkah lamps. This magnificent late 19th century menorah was made in the Ukraine. Both will be on display through early January. Whether you're in New York City for Christmas or any time of the year, a Broadway musical is a must. There are so many great shows to choose from. At the end of this episode, we'll give you some tips for getting discounted tickets. Or if you're feeling nostalgic for Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, it's playing for a limited run at the Lyceum Theater on West 45th Street. We're visiting some of the many holiday markets throughout the city, including the Holiday Fair in the Vanderbilt Hall of the Grand Central train station on 42nd Street. The focus for this year's Holiday Fair is on locally made and American-made merchandise. Products are required to be made by hand. There are also many outdoor holiday markets featuring interesting and unique products at Bryan Park, Union Square, and Bowling Green, to name a few. By the way, if you're interested in trains, the New York Transit Museum has launched its 18th annual holiday train show at the museum's gallery annex located, where else? The Grand Central train station. The display features Lionel trains traveling along a 34-foot long, two-level, old-gauge model train layout. The trains depart from a miniature replica of Grand Central Terminal on the way to the North Pole. Check out the hours of operation at the link below. If you want to do a little outdoor skating during the holiday season, there's the rink at Rockefeller Center, right below the Christmas tree, the Wolman Rink, located in Central Park at 59th Street and 6th Avenue, and the rink at Bryant Park. Stay until the end to see where you can get free rink time. Time for some hot chocolate. If you're looking to get out of the cold, the Plaza Hotel has a food court in the basement with a wide variety of food and drinks. The Plaza Food Hall is a lot nicer than what you might normally think a food court would be. There's a range of options, from a nice restaurant to more casual spots. There are also some shops there. We would recommend entering on the 58th Street side of the Plaza Hotel. You can also enter 59th Street across from Central Park. But that entry is a little harder to find, and we only saw stairs there. And pretty much wherever you go in the city, you'll see stores, office buildings, and even the New York Public Library, decorated for the holiday season. Speaking of libraries, if you're visiting the Bryant Park Outdoor Holiday Market or skating in the Bryant Park Rink, you'll be in the area behind one of the city's most beautiful libraries. Go around to Fifth Avenue to see the Beaux Arts Building, which is a national landmark, and the two lines made of Tennessee pink marble that have watched over the building since 1911. The two lines called Patience and Fortitude by Mayor Fiorello LaGuardia during the Great Depression recently received a quarter million dollar cleaning and restoration. Just in case you're wondering, this is where most New York City residents buy their Christmas trees from vendors set up on the street. We're at the Bronx Zoo for the holiday light show. Other than the spectacled owl that was available for photo ops with his handler, all the other animals were tucked away from the cold. So the event features animals in light displays, lanterns, and sculptures. There were also characters on stilts, ice carving, carolers, and an indoor merry-go-round. I think I enjoyed the lantern garden best. This holiday lights event takes place during evening hours until 10 p.m. on Friday and Saturday nights and 9 p.m. on other nights through early January. The Bronx has some areas where safety is a concern, so if you are traveling there, especially at night, you might want to rent a car or take a car service. We're also crossing over the Brooklyn Bridge en route to a neighborhood in Brooklyn called Diker Heights, where many large and upscale homes in the area are well known for getting into the festive spirit by having Christmas professionals design the holiday displays outside their homes, and some do it on their own. The displays run the gamut from very elegant to over-the-top gaudy. You decide. Here's a sample. 
There's no easy way to get here with public transportation, so we'd probably only recommend this if you have a car or you live nearby or you're willing to take a car service to see something unique in the city. The best viewing streets are from 10th to 13th Avenues and from 83rd to 85th Streets. Here are some tips and other useful information for exploring Christmas in New York City. The Rockefeller Center and the Times Square Broadway area are mob scene a day after Thanksgiving and through early January. So if you're planning to visit that area, we recommend that you go there in the early morning hours or the late evening hours. Generally speaking, you can get discount Broadway show tickets at theatermania.com or other similar websites. Also, you can get same day discount tickets at the uh, TKTS kiosk located right in Times Square, 47th Street and Broadway. They also have two other locations, one in uh, South Street Seaport and the other one over there in Lincoln Center. And generally speaking, there'll be less of a crowd when you go to those two locations versus the one in Times Square. You can also go to the theater on the same day and see if they have any general rush discount tickets or student discount tickets. There are also lotteries for cheap theater tickets and we'll put the links for that information below. Keep in mind that show tickets are in big demand in New York City at this time of year, so you may or may not be able to get discounted tickets. If you're visiting St. Patrick's Cathedral, you can just walk around as we did, or you can purchase an official cathedral tour. You can purchase it on site or you can purchase it online. Given the crowds during the holiday season, we'd recommend that you purchase it online. Also, for more details, please see the link below. You can ice skate for free at Bryan Park, and if you don't have your own skates, you can rent them there. And starting this year, for the first time, you can actually book ice time online. Check out the details below. Here's a valuable tip if you're visiting the Metropolitan Museum of Art. George, should we reveal this treasured secret and find ourselves waiting online to enter the museum in the future? Well, for our viewers, why not? There's actually an entrance to the side of the main staircase that has far fewer visitors. You can get tickets with a much shorter line. There are also ticket kiosks down there. Now, if you're a resident in New York State or a student in New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut, you can pay whatever you wish. You just go to the counter with your particular ID. That used to be the case for all visitors. Anyone not in this category will have to pay the specific amount as stated on the board. And you can purchase your tickets either at the counter or at the kiosk. Up on the ninth floor of Saks Department Store is an immersive experience where kids of all ages are transported to the Enchanted Forest, the main setting of the new Frozen 2 movie. Tickets are a nominal fee and some of the proceeds are donated to local hospitals. The last entry times are fairly early in the evening. So check out the schedule before you go, and this exhibit runs through Christmas Eve. The New York City Ballet offers same-day $30 discount tickets for ages 13 to 30. However, you may or may not be able to see the Nutcracker that day, so check out the link below. Also at Lincoln Center, you can see the rehearsal for the New York Philharmonic Orchestra for $22 on select dates. See the link below. In addition to the Christmas Spectacular show at Radio City Music Hall, there is an opportunity, with an additional fee, to attend a pre-show reception with the Rockettes or take a three-hour dance lessons with the Rockettes. Check out the details below. Earlier, we mentioned a model train show at the Grand Central Terminal. And if you really love trains, there's also a train show at the New York Botanical Gardens in the Bronx. Those trains zip through a display of more than 175 famous landmarks. Like the Brooklyn Bridge, the Statue of Liberty, Rockefeller Center, and they're all made with natural materials like birch bark, acorns, and cinnamon sticks. Sweet husband, what did you like best about our exploration in New York City? What I really enjoy about the Christmas time in New York City here are the outdoor holiday markets, in particular the one in Union Square. I think they're really interesting and unique collection of different items and gifts to provide out there for folks. If you're looking for that, something different for your uh, special one. But I really enjoy listening to the street musicians throughout the city during the holiday time, especially Emma Park Hazel with her Christmas songs. Really brought me into the spirit. Yes, special thanks to Emma Park Hazel for allowing us to use her beautiful singing in this video. Wifey, what do you enjoy the most? 
Strolling along Fifth Avenue and seeing all of the holiday decorations really got me in the Christmas spirit. I also enjoyed singer-songwriter Emma Park Hazel performing Christmas songs in the subway. And of course, the Metropolitan Museum of Art is always amazing. Thank you for exploring Christmas in New York City with us, and we look forward to seeing you in our next exploration. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode of Diane and George Explore. Until we meet again. See you next time. Bye. Bye. The world is yours when Diane and George Explore.